Greetings and salutations, fellow Magic the Gathering travelers. Welcome back to another Daily Arena video. This is Janky Meta, and today we enter the melee with the homebrew of epic proportions. The new season is upon us, and fellow travelers from across the land are clamoring to regain their positions on the ranked ladder. The goal of this deck is stomp our toxic and monocolored opponents quickly, and, if necessary, to hardcast a Traxa using our eclectic mix of lands and treasures. Incidentally, we might poison a few of our opponents and simply add a measure of confusion to their existential suffering. Our mana base package of 13 basic forests and a contingent of Phyrexian enablers shines a light on our Nyssa-powered monogreen chops, as well as our Atraxa side hustle. So without further ado, we charge ahead and showcase the chonky mono green mayhem, vanquish our opponents, and full send every portion of our glory to the land. Okay, first match of the session. Is this good enough? I think we're gonna have to try and make it work. Remember, Myrix comes in and it gives us mana, so we're gonna wanna try and save that if possible. It gives us any color mana, but only on the turn it entered the battlefield. Okay, we can't save it. Sag. Drawing both copies of our Nyssa, um, I guess we can expect that, uh, moving forward. Hey, the Shuffler just wants to help, help out. What's the biggie? We'll attack. What do they have? Nothing. Okay. Opponent. Down to 15, end the turn. Looks like we're both in gold four, trying to regain that rank. Opponent has chosen the dark side, and we have chosen mono green Stompy with a little side hustle. Now, ask yourself this question. Us or the opponent? Who's more fun at a party? I think you know the answer. Opponent taking their sweet time. We draw a land. We can actually cast Nyssa. But should we? into open mana. Let's pop them and see what they do. I think opponent's too smart for this, but we'll see. You never know. I mean, honestly, if, if you, yeah, okay. Great. We're gonna go for it. It's what we came here to do. Gets countered. We're down four life, total blowout. <laughs> but opponent's down to 13, what the heck? Party on, dude. Of course, opponent has the counter spell. I'm feeling um, definite uh, one and best of one vibes here. I think opponent is a net decker. Filthy, 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 filth, trash, garbage. Okay, well, um, uh, Nissa? Does our opponent have another syncopate? 
If so, uh, no, our opponent does not. And we have a huge, chonky creature. Syncopate would hit a Planeswalker, right? Yeah, they didn't have it. What do they have instead? Oh boy. Well. Let's attack in. Emperor! Should have played the Rot Priest first. Um, yeah, no problem. Rot Priest, come on down! End the turn. Tyvar's stand is up. We look, uh, like, what? Vanish into eternity? Well, we can't protect Nessa with the Tyvar stand. Okay. Bye, Nessa. Such a great spell. Like, straight up. Straight up exile. All right, you know, to be quite honest, I'm a little, I'm a little tired of your shenanigans. Um, X equals zero, confirm zero. We need to keep that around. Opponent has poison. Opponent creates a samurai? Because they know that an emperor is a dead? Yes. Tamiyo, safekeeping, you don't say. Uh huh. Well, we have, um, we can create a little token. So let's go ahead and just attack in with our big chonky chonk, chonky chonk. They're gonna, they're gonna eat that. That's going to the face. Yeah, definitely. Is this activate um, at sorcery speed? No, we can do that anytime we want. All right, cool. End the turn. We need mana. We're suffering from mana. We have, I mean, we're, we're really close to Atraxa here. Wait, I forget what this can do. This is a new card. Exile up to one target artifact or creature. Return that card to the battlefield. Okay. Uh, create a 2-2 uh, with double strike. Okay. For each player, choose a creature that player controls. Each player sacrifices all creatures they control, not chosen this way. Uh, sacrifices. Okay, so this is a board wipe. Sure. Um, they're going to choose the loam speaker because it's the least dangerous, right? No. What? Oh. Oh, nice one. You know, I don't, I disagree with that um, assumption, opponent. I simply cannot abide by that situation. Opponent attacks into a 1 3. Nah. We'll create a little mite. And we draw more protection. It's lovely. It's lovely. All right, we're gonna need to attack, attack down this um, emperor here. Okay, not the mite. Hmm. 
No more than one creature can attack. Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll attack the Wanderer with that, and then we will... attack them with the rest. Let's see what they do. Okay, they definitely want to keep the Wanderer around. We, uh, we in... We were pretty sure they were going to do that. They, they do go to five poison counters. And we end the turn. Now, we either have protection on our big chonky chonk. Okay, they're going to use the board wipe ability. Which one are they going to choose? The might. Oh. The loam speaker. Okay. They have a lot of mana up. What is this? What are they doing? Silver scrutiny. Okay. Well... If we draw a land, we basically have got them dead to rights. So let's hope for a land, eh? Come on. A, B, C. Talking about vanquishing the enemy. Uh, well, we'll do the might for sure. So we actually don't need to draw a land in order to, but we do. Oh, we were so close to casting Atraxa, but we don't need it. Um, let's see, Tyvar stand for four will do it. And that's what we have. So that's what we're going to do. No problem. Opponent down. Look at that. Let's risk it for La Biscuit. Land off the top. Land, 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 duress. We have all creatures and lands, but they know our game plan. No! Opponent, no! Okay, well, they didn't see the Rot Priest. Uh, let's get Seed Core out. Evolving Adapted hits the battlefield. Land? No. Attack. Okay, our opponent is on the mono black game plan. Uh, they play duress, so we're assuming that they have cut downs, go for the throats, possibly even an old, old school infernal grasp or two. Graveyard Trespasser. No! Artifact or creature card? Oh, which one do they want? God, this is tough. What if we reanimate? You don't want to pitch the Atraxa. We're so far away from the Atraxa. Why would you? Why would you even? What? What do they take? Oh, uh, we okay. Um, we are having mana problems. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so Rot Priest comes out because they know about it. We need to try to get some damage on on them, on our opponent. 
take them down a peg from their little discard plan. Duress into dreams of steel and oil. What the heck, opponent? All right, we got Mirex. Um, Jewel Thief pumps up our adaptives, which is cool. Uh, Mirex comes down. Jewel Thief, sure. Um, do we sacrifice the Rot Priest? I mean, they could just... Nah, we don't sacrifice the Rot Priest. We'll keep that. What do you want, opponent? Okay. They completely nullify our attack, but they lose the Flesh Gorger. Only to reanimate it next turn, right? Liliana of the Veil. Which one are we getting rid of? <sighs> Goodness gracious. Well... It's got to be the Jewel Thief. Uh, we draw another land, which is fantastic. They know about one of our Atraxes, so they're worried. They don't know about the other one. We're getting closer. Do we want to get poison onto them? Or just be efficient? I think just be efficient. They know our game plan. We, we could try and, like, pretend, but... Let's get the Jewel Thief out. The interesting thing about Mono Black is that they have Gix's Command as their only available board wipe. Well, no. What is that card called? Something Malfunction? Alright, Graveyard Trespasser. They're back in it. Oh, wait! Are we about to cast little old Atraxa? I'm pretty sure we are, folks. I'm pretty sure we are. Oh my god. Auto pay, baby! And we're gonna get a land. Evolving Adaptive obviously ticks up. Alright, obviously, uh, Nissa will take, um... Mmm, Beseju. For the artifacts. Now, they're gonna kill Atraxa quick. So, let's... Let's ramp. Oh, wait. We have Gall of Greeters. We have Augur. Uh, we're definitely taking Tamiyo. Um, I actually think Gall of Greeters. And then that makes us review our pick for mana. Submit for. And they can see what we picked. And we attack in for a crap load of damage. Opponents like, I don't care. I've got the go for the throat on a Traxa. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Whatever, dude. We got gotcha. you. Not really suffering for overconfidence here because remember, this is mono black. They are very explodey. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Not gonna lie, I want a little bit of a streak here. Heat check. It is truly an honor to present this homebrew. This is a good hand. It might not look like it, but it is. Trust us. Let's go. Mono black opponent rears their head and says, What's up? The inevitable cut down siphoned off of our opponents. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm going to be honest, that's not good. Let's see if we can get another little bit of removal off of them. Yeah. Mm. 
Yogma. All right, well, we got our land. Ah, uh, should we... Yeah, let's tell them what's up. They're going to be shaking in their boots. Gala greeters. Absolutely. Got a ramp. Always be ramping. Children. They're not going to get the draw. Oh, they got the draw. Oh, I forgot. It's life. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Nissa comes down for sure. Um, we're going to be losing a fair amount of life. So, let's just go this route. Obviously, we're going to create a 6-6 six, six, uh, nasty creature. And they're... If they're smart, they're going to they're going to remove that Gala Greeters quickly because we're going to be gaining life off that sucker. Oh, they think they have it, huh? All right. Well, a uh, 6-6 six, six creature is better than a 2-2 two, two that scales uh, currently. We're gonna lose our Nissa. Sag. Oh, okay. Well, how about a little um a little pacing? We will pay three. X equals three. We're not going to exile any green cards. That's ridiculous. Oh, no! I forgot. We only have one copy. <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. Um, yeah, let's do it again. Do they have... Do they have two Invoke Despairs? If they do... You know, not gonna lie, they had the game all along. Uh, we need to gain some life, honestly. And as far as, um, no attacks yet. Is this non to Yeah, okay. We, we need to find another creature. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're gonna play it out. But this is just ridiculous. Two cut downs. Let's see. Let's look at them. There's two cut downs. Two invoke despairs. A shieldred. What are you honestly supposed to do? We're rapidly dying here to the mono black mayhem. They just have all the answers. Okay, we're on a little bit of a win streak here. Heat check. I like it. I think it's good. Opponent is named appropriately. Well, like it, love it for them. Uh, let's go forest pass. Okay, are we gonna name Elf here or are we gonna name Phyrexian? What? Okay, soldiers, but that is an off-brand soldier. I don't know if you know. <laughs> That soldier is off-brand. 
<laughs> oh, look, Dryad Warrior. Hmm, Phyrexian Angel, okay. Yeah, we're going Phyrexian on this. And we're gonna get the ramp going. Hopefully they don't have lay down arms on our lone speaker. Fingers crossed. Valiant veteran, sure. First strike, not gonna matter too much there. Um, are we suffering? Yeah, we gotta hit our land drop. We just have to hit it. Uh, let's see. Beast collar or adaptive. Let's grow the adaptive. And we'll hold back. Say go. Opponent is executing on their game plan. It looks like a lay down arms to me. Sniffing it out. Brutal Cathar. Oh, you love to see it. Come on, who, who are you going for? Beast Caller, huh? Sure. Awesome. Gain two life. Tail swipe is here. I'm not sure how good tail swipe really is, though. Oh. Okay. Well, we could fight. Uh, we could fight the. You cast it during your main phase. Okay, so we go... I think it's... Beast Caller, because it's gonna... It's, it is a... It's not a token. It's still Beast Caller, though. Let's bring them down to earth a little bit. And, uh, no attacks. End the turn. What do they have for us now? Muriel! Holy moly. Okay, well. Nissa is in the house. So Muriel will die. Adaptive and Beast Caller are gonna are gonna grow. That is so busted. Well oh no no no, you have to cast it in order for Beast Caller to grow. Okay. No attacks. Still searching for that mana so we can ramp into a Traxa. Come on. Game, let us do the thing. We're not bad people. Oh yeah, Mural has got to go down. Are they really gonna throw away Mural? Yeah, they're throwing away Mural. Okay, do we want to save Beast Caller? Yeah. We'll give him the adaptive. Two blocks. Mural down. And they have a bunch of little soldier tokens. They take away the adaptive. Sure, sure. Here's our ramp.
They can take away one of our tokens. They can take away the jewel thief. But we're ramping, people. Next. No attacks. What you got, opponent? We are executing on our game plan. All right. Moon Rage Brute gets the token, right? Or, uh, uh, counter. Sure. They attack and... Nope. And they scoop! They can't handle the thickness that they just had to witness. Opponent down! Thanks to all the fellow travelers out there who are consuming this content and enjoying it. It's truly an honor to be here. It adds so much enjoyment to my games that I really can't imagine how I was doing it. Uh, just playing Arena, you know, without recording and, and sharing the matches and, and, and participating in the meta on that level, in that manner. Um, so this match is a little bit of a heat check. Uh, we're going to keep. We're on a little bit of a streak, as I was sort of alluding to. Let's uh, be a little cautious. We'll play out the forest. We'll play out the adaptive. And our opponent thinks we're on, I don't know, a mono green toxic or a mono green uh, game plan. Here comes the cut down. Nope, they're going to wait. Opponent is cautious. Okay, we're going to have to give away our uh we're gonna have to give away our game plan a little bit let's do seed core though maybe they don't you know maybe they think we're still on the poison and we're not trying to use seed core for the phyrexian uh do we rot priest or do we ramp i think we ramp cut down in three two one. Bingo! Pass turn. Mm. Interesting. Okay, opponent is playing a little Mishra's Foundry, probably to get around White Sun's Twilight, I would think. Uh, we are going to... Fully unveil our, our nefarious plan of winning. And we're going to ramp some more. We're going to leave the loam speaker no we're going to play a uh, rot priest off the loam speaker and have Tyvar stand as backup. No. But we will attack with it. We get first blood, opponent down to 19, pass turn. If Dreams of Steel and Oil comes down, I'm going to be upset. Okay, so they want to waste their soul transfer on that. I am not... I'm going to... Uh, okay, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay, it seems like that was, the, that was a good decision. Play out Rot Priest. We have massive levels of protection on the Rot Priest. So we'll go ahead and attack in again. I think that there's an argument for not attacking there. I certainly do. But every little bit helps against Mono Black. They play the Bank Buster. They still have Cut Down, um, but that's all they have. Maybe Evolve Sleeper? No. Our turn. Jewel Thief coming in hot. 
Okay, this means no attacks. Because we just want to ramp. We want to ramp, ramp, ramp. And we've already got him down to 18. I mean, they know they know we're here, right? So, no attacks. Save up the mana. And basically what we're doing here is we're just trying to preserve our treasure tokens and use the Loam Speaker for protection on the Rot Priest or the Jewel Thief. So, opponent just cannot handle the fact that we are so awesome. And I would add to that that everyone out there, fellow travelers, are legends. Truly excellent. Thank you for consuming the content. Gold Tier 3, that's a wrap. Please let me know in the comments if you'd make any changes to the Hyper Chonky list. We got to cast a Traxa. Massive thanks to everyone out there consuming this content. Fellow Magic the Gathering travelers, you are legends. You are excellent. The response has been phenomenal. Fantastic and encouraging. We are Janky Meta. And we'll see you tomorrow in the next video.